Ooh, now there's something nice. Oh, dang, that's bigger than I thought it was. Hey everybody, I am out today looking for stuff down by the river. Normally we're looking for, well, okay, I guess I'm always looking for rocks, so that's not news at all, but today I'm actually looking for rocks and wood. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Well, there's some wood, not the type I was looking for, but I will definitely still take it. Nice chunk of petrified wood. Hey, there's some petrified wood. A nice little piece. Sweet. Well, we're finding wood, just in rock form. <laughs> Ooh, now there's something nice. Oh, dang, that's bigger than I thought it was. There's some nice green aventurine. I'll wash that up when we get back to the shop so you can see how pretty this stuff is. Dang, there's a pretty little jasper. Dang, right next to it, that's another nice one. Great red, nice color variation. Man, that is one nice dark green piece of aventurine. Probably can't show very well on the camera, but also I'm finding some great jasper. Here, I'll get a close-up on this. I don't know how well it's going to pick up all the stuff going on in this thing, but it is a beautiful little thing. I'll show you the bigger ones in a little bit. I just don't want to get dig all of them out at the moment. Dang, that is a nice jasper. Big thing. I'll get it wet at the shop so you can see why the ones like this are exciting, but that is a good one. Dang, look at this nice dark green jasper. That thing is gorgeous. I'm definitely going to be cutting this one into something. That's why I like finding rocks this size, because it may not be big enough to do like big slabs or anything, but I could probably get two cabs out of this one. Oh, and right over here next to it is a little agate. Dang, this thing is awesome. It's petrified wood, but there's all these big veins of agate throughout it. That is awesome. Man, I bet that's going to look cool when it's polished. Here is a big septarian. You can see all of those veins. So it's the yellow calcite. Huh, that's awesome. Sweet! Another one of those green jasper. This one's even bigger too. Uh, no, that's nothing. Alright, again I say, the day for jasper. Alrighty, here is everything all cleaned off, and my gosh, was it a day for Jasper. <laughs> Let's go on through cleaning some of these. I couldn't believe how nice some of these Jasper are. I'm excited to start cutting, but here, I'll get some close-ups on the nice ones really fast. Alright, I'm going to start with the bigger stuff. So here's some aventurine. Probably doesn't look like much until I get it wet. And... Sorry, one sec. That is a nice dark green piece. And I actually love this stuff for carving, so this is probably going to be getting turned into something. Here's another nice dark one. I love this one right here though. This one has some really dark stuff in it. Very pretty. Alrighty, here is little piece of petrified wood that's just got all sorts of veins of clear agate throughout it. Really interesting wood grain too. Cool little piece. This one, love the grain on this. It's almost like palm wood. Which I guess for the time period would not be inaccurate. Very cool. And this one 
It's good size and it's really uniform in shape, so I'm probably going to be carving this one at some point. Not sure when, but yeah, it'll happen. I was super excited about these two. It was so green. I don't know if the my lighting is good or not, but such a dark green jasper. And then I got this one, which is more of a it's a lighter green, but still great color in this jasper. That's going to be fun to work with. And then I've got oh, it's got these beautiful bubbly pockets of agate throughout it. Really cool. Um, here, let me get some close-ups on these because these are some of my favorite to work with. Alright, these right here are some of my favorite Jasper to work with because they have these beautiful veins of clear agate throughout. Get some really cool stuff when you work with these. Here's another one. Here, I've got a flashlight right here so I can show you. It just looks so dark. Uh, here's another one. Really nice. Pretty little Jasper. And I love the body in this one. This is just one awesome little Jasper. Let's see, it actually has a grain to it, which is just cool. Alright, next are the ones that just have really cool patterning. So here's a good example. I can get it. There we go. It's just got these cool little circles all over it. A little bit of color variation, but that pattern is really cool. Got this one right here. Let me get it wet so you can see it better. It's got some really unique lacy stuff on it. Cool patterning going on. Nice color variation. Yeah, it's a cool little agate. We've got this one. Or, not Agate, Jasper, my bad. Again, just really cool stuff going on. And I love these right here, because when they're dry, they just look like a, or not polished yet, they just look like a, a yellow rock. But then when you get up close and the light on, there's just so much going on that you can't see on the surface. Very cool. Then we have this nice big one. This thing is huge. Got those clear veins throughout. A little bit of color variation. The thing is just awesome. It even has pockets with green jasper throughout it. So this is going to be a very unique one. Going to make some pretty interesting slabs I think. Just wanted to grab this out really quick to show you. Jasper I tumbled give you a little bit of an idea of what those are gonna look like. Very pretty. And then here's another one right here. Again it has almost a, a grain to it. Here let me see if I can get some better light going on. There we go. Very very pretty this one right here was definitely the find of the day though and actually this lighting is horrible so I'm gonna go outside so you can really actually see this. Look at this beautiful little Jasper. I don't know if, oh gosh, as my camera falls over. I don't know if the light is gonna let you see it but it's got almost a fortification pattern in it. It's just gorgeous. And there's these red spots that also have that fortification. Such a pretty agate. Well, Jasper agate. The thing is just beautiful. Alright, well that's all of our finds other than all the wood that I still have to go through. That will be a different video though. I, I'll try to separate rock and wood videos out. So, yeah. Alrighty, so I am back out doing some more rock hunting. 
and the dogs. I'm super excited that it is nice out. I'm just looking for agates, petrified wood, and whatever else looks cool, including some wood to work with. There's a bunch of wood piles out here, so might find some cool driftwood. We will see. But yeah, finding a bunch of them entering so far. So yeah, I will keep you all posted and I'll be right back. Ooh, there is some nice petrified wood. Heck yeah. Dang, that's a pretty one. Well, that's pretty cool. I just found this septarian. See those little dark, shiny gray spots are actually shells. Shell fossils, so that's possibly got some good stuff in it. Hey, there's a nice little agate. Pretty little thing. Oh, oh, never mind, that's glass. I'm gonna bring that with me. Because, yeah. Hmm. Well, starting to lose my light, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be out. Oh, what's this? Ooh! What in the world are you? Here, let me zoom in. It's definitely a fossil of some kind. Not sure what, though. Hmm. Yeah, I could see more in here, too. Sweet! I'll have to wrap it up and make sure it's safe. And I'll take a closer look when we get to the shop. Very interesting. Yeah, sun's going down. I'm losing my light, so it's gonna make it a lot harder to find stuff. I told it to stop, but it's weird. It's almost like it didn't even listen. So I guess if I find anything remarkable, I will turn the camera back on for a minute. If not, we'll go through everything at the shop. So yeah, see you all in a minute or tomorrow. All right, well, here's what we got from that second day. Only a couple that I thought were worthy of coming home, but they're still really cool. So here, let me get up close. I thought this was a very cool agate. Really interesting. Pretty little thing. And we've got this Jasper right here. That is awesome. It's got all these bands and clear veins of agate throughout. A lot of color variation. Super pretty. And then there's this one, which looks just like a dark piece of Jasper until you get up close. Yeah, there's that beautiful yellow, but all of that other color is actually oh, kind of translucent, so that thing is going to be really pretty, I think. I think this one's going in the tumbler. Super pretty. Other than that, we've got these right here. You can see those are impressions from fossils. We've got interesting fossil right here and right here appear to be brachiopods another one right here yeah very cool and then a little impression of an oyster right here and on this piece same thing right there is an oyster and right there is one peeking through very cool other than that just these two Pretty pieces of aventurine. That one right there, and then this one right here. Oh, speaking of aventurine, you can tell that some time has passed because here is that big one from the other day. This video is coming out soon, so I'm not going to show the whole thing, but it's going to be cool. Yep, that'll be coming out soon, so definitely keep your eye out for that one. Alrighty, well, I think that is going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you think I earned it. And I will have another one out very, very soon. I'm working on editing one at the moment where, man oh man, did we get into some amazing stuff. So definitely keep your eyes out for that one. Other than that, I've got a couple carvings I'm working on and those should be out soon as well. So hope you enjoyed. See you all soon.